One of the things uh, that really make me feel alive is the Camino de Santiago. And I've done it three times already. Did you show the kitchen on your video? No. Is it cool. important? Uh, like to, to like you wake up and everyone has the same objective. It doesn't matter your religion, your social status, your economic status. It doesn't matter. Like you only have your backpack with everything you need on it. And you just yeah. walk. I'm Paula. I don't speak German, but there will be subtitles here. Right? Yeah, right, right. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Madrid, Spain, and I'm in shock with the beauty. Like, I'm... it's so cool. I really like it. And this place is really peaceful and I got to meet amazing people like you and... <laughs> and Celeste, the kid, Lucy which I have to take care of her. The mom is... <laughs> the mom is in the bathroom. <laughs> Celeste, ven! Mira! Ven! Mira, Celeste! Ven! Mira! So, I studied marketing last year. I finished my career, marketing and digital business. And right now, I'm, a, I'm in a point of my life that I don't know if I want to... Um, going the circle of society, you know, like everyone is going and just getting a job, marrying, having kids, no, it's like one of the things uh, that really make me feel alive is the Camino de Santiago and I've done it three times already and mm. it's for me... It, three times? Three times. Crazy. I've done the Portuguese one. Just for understanding, the Portuguese one is like from the which which city? You actually can do the Camino as long as you want. To in order to have the diploma, the si. Compostela is called. Si. You need to do the la, uh, at least a hundred kilometers si. and the last the last a hundred, at least. So I did um, the last a hundred kilometers of, of the Portuguese Camino, and it was from Tui, from the border of Portugal and Spain. Ah, okay, like uh, the. From the Portugal and the the north. Yeah. Ah, okay. From that to Santiago, that yeah. was my first. Then I did the beginning, the first a hundred something kilometers of the French Camino, which was from the border of France yeah. to Logroño, which is a city in the north of of Spain. But with the idea of finishing the whole French Camino yeah. in years, yeah. in five ah, years, okay. so. 140, 140, and, and then in five years you will arrive to Santiago if you do one week per year. Some people do it all ah, and okay. they take, it takes one uh, month. I understand. I guess the very beginning from the Camino is something uh, somewhere in France, right? No, from Germany. From Germany? From Germany, from Slovenia, from ah, Poland. Okay. You can find all over, all over Europe. Even Crazy. in the UK. Let's start the Camino now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was your motivation to do, the, to do this Camino way? Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, like uh, years ago, it mm -hmm. was more of a religious thing, you know? Yeah. Because the cross, yeah, it was like a, pil a, cr a Christian pilgrimage. P pilgrim, yeah. But now just people do it for not even spiritual reasons, they just walk because it's really known in Spain obviously yeah. in the U in the European Union as well but in Spain a lot yeah. so it's something that I've always wanted to do at least once in my life yeah and I just decided to do it with my dad and I loved it the second one yeah uh, I did it with some friends so I did it with nine people crazy <laughs> nine people it was so crazy and then this year um, last month yeah. I did it alone I did it by myself, alone. yeah, completely alone, and I loved it so much because you meet lots of people from all over the world and everyone is, I don't know, in such a mood yeah. that you all vibrate. Yeah, 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 you know, the thing about traveling alone is like um, when you're traveling in a group or mm -hmm. with your closest friends, it is like, you know, you take your whole um, bubble, you know, your whole social bubble, you mm -hmm. take it with you and then yeah, you, exactly. you, and then you don't need to get outside exactly. the bu bubble to connect to new people like you meet people but you stay with your group and yeah. with your vibe and yeah you're right not, exactly you're not flowing yeah right right that's why i, I prefer to go traveling alone mm -hmm. 
And yeah, it's much, much more fun. Did you show the kitchen on your video? No. Is it important? No, I was in the kitchen when I had this interview. Maybe with. we can explain that we were doing yesterday. Ah, here. yeah, right. <laughs> here? Yeah. We, yes. were doing, we were doing a full moon ritual. Yeah. We were burning fire and we were playing the Tibetan bowls. And yeah, right, right. And drinking tea and the full moon was just up there like so. And there was an eclipse. Full moon eclipse. Yeah, right. Uh, ich habe dazu auch ein Video gemacht. Falls ihr es noch nicht gesehen habt, guckt euch auf jeden Fall hier an. What is your biggest experience during this traveling alone? Mm, for me, it would be that I went by myself, but then I was never alone. Mm. Like I met people from all over. I met a girl from Italy, um, a grandpa from French, from France, sorry, uh, a woman from the east of Spain, two guys from Burgos. Mm. It was like. I, we created such a bond and I ended up changing my route because they were doing an extra um, 60 kilometers that I wasn't doing and I just I was like okay let's go mm. so I changed my my route on the way and I loved it I loved it I felt so free and in the Camino it's like everyone is the same everyone has the same objective to to go to the to the next stop uh, like to, to like you wake up and everyone has the same objective. It doesn't matter your religion, your social status, your economic status. It doesn't matter. Like you only have your backpack with everything you need on it. And you just yeah, walk. Yeah, you just walk and and see beautiful places because mm, yeah, it's so uh, beautiful. And you slept in hostels, right? Also? Yeah, in Spain it's called albergues, mm. which is similar to a hostel. Yeah. Crazy, you have... In your eyes is like uh, dots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Let's is see. It, is it seen on the camera? Alter, the show I have never seen. I never seen like with these eyes before. Okay, um, let's stay focused. Quite a really interesting story about uh, the Camino. What do you think? How much time is is it needed when I just started from uh, from Germany? From Germany. Yeah. You know when I started from Cologne and go to the whole way to Santiago de Compostela. Months. Month? Yeah, m more than one. Oh, months. Okay. Yeah, because from the border of France is mm. one month. So Crazy, okay. It would take like four months, yeah. maybe. I would recommend to do it from April, May, June. Mm. July, August is full of pilgrim, is full of people. You would say that this journey has uh, changed your personality yeah. or your life? Yeah, 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 yeah really. The thing that changed me the most was doing it alone because, I don't know, it's just so fun and really lots of magical things happen. Like for example, it always, like to me, it said, oh, it's gonna rain and I was like, oh, I'm not prepared, blah, blah, blah. And then it never rained, mm. never. And then I got to, to swim in the ocean, which was amazing. And I'm doing this medica meditation course in, mm. in Madrid when I, where I live. Mm. And there we belong to a group that has some meditation like rooms mm. in the in Spain. But in Spain there's only three. Three mm. meditation rooms. One in Barcelona, in Madrid and in Malaga. I'm doing the Camino. I didn't plan where I was gonna stay. I didn't book my hostels on before mm. because in September there's not a lot of people. So I was just searching where I was gonna stay and then I see that there was a fucking room of meditation there mm. in a, in the smallest village ever there was one they were built a room and there's only three in spain yeah. like what are the chances <laughs> it's, it's so crazy i don't believe in random uh, in coincidence i believe in destiny sometimes it's like when you travel alone for example when you meet somebody and you're thinking like eh, it can't be uh, like random meeting with this mm. guy or with this girl yeah, you like know it, this girl or this guy came into my life to, yeah, talk, yeah, right, to teach me right, something right so what was your um, worst experience during the i don't think i have really like no? like the worst maybe it would be um in my second camino the one i did with nine yeah. people <laughs> yeah. because we were 
I am like all, always saying yes and even if I just walked 30 kilometers in the afternoon, I don't want to sleep. I want to do stuff, you know? Yeah. And some of my friends were more like, I don't know, like mm, we want to chill and they were a bit judgmental or of being like, because my dad and I are like that. I'm, I, we are like, yes, whatever. Like mm. we yeah. want to do stuff. Yeah. We are so active. And they yeah. were like, no, I read that yeah. mm, if you do the Camino, you have to live like a baby. You have yeah. to sleep. Yeah. And mm, it was a bit like, yeah, I would recommend to do it with people that you um, that are in the same vibe as yeah, you yeah, or yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend to do it for you alone and yeah. for all you that are watching alone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you are like the fifth person that t tell me that I have to go this Camino. May may we'll see. Maybe I will do it. You really should do it. it and it's not that hard. I don't do sports, really. I mm. don't. And then I can just walk. If you have shoes that don't make make you mm, have blisters, then you're good to go. Yeah. You should do it. Yeah, and also it is worth yeah, it. I have to do a vlog of it. It yeah. will be a complete different it's season. Yeah. The Camino. Yeah, the Camino. <laughs> With the white yeah. wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now officially, I'm the white wolf here because everybody see me now as a wolf. And yesterday, I picked this card. You know. Yeah. How called this card game? Uh, uh, Oraculo. Das ist quasi sowas von den uh, Native Americans. Und dann habe ich aus 150 Karten habe ich tatsächlich den Wolf gezogen. Es war absolut verrückt, Leute. Richtig krass. Und jetzt fühle ich mich selber wie ein Wolf hier. Ich habe auch schon Wolfszahn gekauft. <lacht> yeah, thank you for sharing the, your story. Mm -hmm. The Camino. It was, uh, no problem. Uh, I love talking to you. Yeah. And if, I mean, if you want, if they, any viewers have any questions yeah. maybe you can tell me and i can answer it yeah. on your youtube comment down yeah. below <laughs> okay guys i feel so like youtube <laughs> <laughs> guys wenn ihr fragen zu ihr habt zu der paula schreibt auf jeden fall in die kommentare ich leite es auf jeden fall an sie weiter ich hoffe euch hat das video gefallen danke euch auf jeden fall fürs zugucken liebe geht raus an euch alle und ja das video endet hier doch das nächste kommt schon bald und wir sehen uns in the next one peace <laughs> it's like that, yeah. <laughs> but you really have crazy eyes. And just fascinating only. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me.